Hey guys, Level Cap here. Today we're going to talk about the Medic class in the Battlefield 1 beta, some of the guns that I like, some of the ones you might want to consider trying out, and generally speaking, how the class plays out in this game. And the rifle that I'm using right now is the M1907 Automatic. That's right, it is a fully automatic medic weapon, but it does shoot very slowly. And in fact, you can tap fire to single shot enemies down. It doesn't do very good damage at range, but uh, it's sort of a hybrid between a DMR style weapon and a fully automatic SMG. So uh, if you wanna be a little bit more effective in close quarters than you will be with your semi-automatic rifles, then this is the gun to pick. It's pretty darn good at close to medium range, but it's not gonna out damage SMGs and it's not gonna out damage traditional DMR style weapons at those further ranges. So you have a very specific damage range at where this gun is really at its best. And right there, you see me get that very rare Medic Revive. If you wanna get revived more in this game, when you die, there's a little Q button that'll actually call for a Medic as opposed to respawning faster. In fact, respawning faster doesn't let you spawn back in faster, it just gets you to the menu faster, and then you have to wait the same respawn time limit. So if you really want a Medic to revive you when you die, just hit Q instead of holding spacebar, and your chances will go up. They're not gonna be great overall, but uh, they'll be better than they were before. Now, in order to start unlocking some of the higher level medic stuff, you have to rank up the medic class. Your overall rank doesn't matter, and there's a bug in the beta right now where it actually doesn't rank up your class beyond the first game that you play in a server. So in order to rank up your class more, you have to leave the server after every game you play and join a new server, and that way you'll be ranking up your class faster. I didn't know this. I'm already like in the 40s, and I really didn't rank up my classes that much at all. So that's definitely something to keep in mind for the beta. Also, you can go to battlefield.com and go to your careers tab when you log in and you can actually buy a bunch of weapons there using your war bonds if you have some money and it's actually not restricted based on your class level so you can kind of bug it out there a little bit and get some guns unlocked even if you don't have your classes unlocked. Now playing the new medic class is interesting. The easiest way to correlate it to Battlefield 4 is saying that it's like the assault class, except you can only use DMRs and your grenade launcher isn't as good. And for that matter, it's as if the DMRs aren't as good either. Now the medic guns are fun to use, but they do come with some caveats. And one of those is when you spam fire them or fire them quickly, they lose accuracy big time, pretty much to the point of aggravation where you can aim and shoot faster than the weapon really can. I mean, I don't understand why they allow you to shoot the guns as fast as they do if they're just gonna give you random bullet deviation if you shoot the weapon at its max speed. It even doesn't help you that much in close quarters as a lot of your shots are gonna miss anyway. The other thing you don't really wanna do much with these guns, although the automatic can handle it all right, is hip fire. Basically, if you're using some of the semi-automatic medic guns you really don't want to be hip firing them even if you think somebody's just like absurdly close to you you'll end up missing your shots because the hip fire spread becomes absolutely insane you can't really go from using dmrs in battlefield 4 to using the dmrs in battlefield 1 and expect a smooth transition as the guns do require a bit more finesse and slower rate of fire to deal with your opponents now for the most part guns in this game have gone downhill for all classes across the board, aside from maybe snipers for the most part. So this is why you're seeing so many scout classes now as they really haven't seen much of a nerf while most of the other classes have. And this could be uh, DICE's design to balance the game out so that there are more bolt action rifles in the game to make it feel a bit more like World War I. Now in this clip here, I've switched away from the automatic weapon and I'm using a more traditional DMR style weapon. This has actually got a magnified scope on here. This is the M1916 and I would definitely recommend unlocking this weapon. If you played the alpha, it's very similar to the way the Mondragon performs and that was one of my favorite rifles for the medic class in the alpha. So if you enjoy the sort of slower rate of fire but more accurate style of gameplay, then this is definitely a rifle to consider. This rifle can usually down people in three shots at range where the automatic one I've shot people five times before in order to take them down so there's a pretty big damage difference between this one and the automatic one and they're definitely not weapons in the same 
class. If you want range, then go for this guy. Now as for medic gadgets, you see that I have a medic crate next to me, which is good if your playstyle is a little bit more stationary. If you like to hold up in buildings or get on top of rooftops, then having a crate in one location is very good. However, if you like to be on the move, if you like to use that automatic rifle and kind of push the objective, get on the point, then you might want to just consider sticking with the standard medic pack as that is very good for moving around and healing while on the move. It's really up to you. The crate is good. The pack is good. One thing I don't like about the crate right now, though, is that uh, it's actually pretty difficult to place it. And I had trouble placing it while in the prone position. There's just something weird about uh, maybe the terrain or the player model when you're prone that doesn't really like allow you to put the crate down. So you have to like uh, kneel and then put the crate down or look at different areas in the environment before you can put the crate down. It's not as easy as it was in Battlefield 4, which I think is kind of disappointing. And hopefully DICE will take a look at that and make it a little bit easier to throw down that medic crate. Now, should you decide to get rid of one of your gadget options, whether it's the health pack or the syringe, you can also equip a rifle fired grenade. And now this grenade can be a high explosive grenade for dealing more damage to vehicles. It can be a frag grenade for taking out infantry. It can even be a smoke grenade for tactically pushing the objective. I think the smoke grenade is one of the most useful of the three. The frag grenade can be fun for getting infantry, but then again, so can a standard grenade, and I didn't find it all that useful. It does, however, give you some options for dealing a bit more damage to vehicles. As a standard frag grenade will still do damage to tanks. Uh, it does like five points of damage to a light tank, or maybe it's seven, but uh, if you really want to try and assist with vehicles as much as possible, then you could run with the HE grenade instead and try and uh, assist your teammates since taking down armor in this game is a considerable team effort. Now because you now have to request a medic after you die in the game and not a lot of people are doing that and also there's a speedy revive option which makes you no longer available to be revived in game. Uh, the syringe or the defibrillator replacement rather is not as useful as it was before. Now provided that DICE decides to sort of change the UI system and maybe make it so you can't speedy revive anymore. It might be as useful as it was in previous Battlefield games, but at its current state, I just wasn't having that many opportunities to revive my teammates. So ultimately, I got a bit more use out of using the rifle fire grenade. It gave me just some options to really pester vehicles and sort of distract them from whoever else they might be fighting and maybe let some of the assaulter class get in there and do some serious damage up close. It's not quite as good as the grenade launcher was in Battlefield 4, considering none of the grenades seem to detonate on impact so they're all sort of bouncy grenades they won't blow up too far after impact but uh, it's just something to consider. You don't want to aim directly at the ground next to your opponent all the time. You want to consider that it's going to bounce just a little bit before going off. Now, as I was saying before, although DMRs are nowhere near as good as they used to be in previous Battlefield games, nor are most of the other guns in this game. So by comparison, the DMRs are still fairly competitive and fairly usable. They do lose out against bolt action snipers at long range, and they lose out against SMGs and machine guns in close range. So you really Really have to try and find that sweet balance of where to use it. I enjoy playing the medic class. I think it could use a little bit of tweaking here and there. I think probably the biggest difference is just allowing people to mark where they die on the map since reviving isn't really that big a part of the game anymore, especially considering the ticket system no longer counts in Conquest. So reviving your teammates isn't going to help out in a ticket way. It's just going to maybe help you bolster your forces wherever you currently are, but you might not even need to bolster your forces. So again, reviving doesn't always serve a purpose. So ultimately, I have a lot of fun playing the medic class, but it's kind of hard to argue that this is sort of a key class that you need to have in each squad. Without question, Assault is one of the most useful classes in the game, purely because it's the only class that can do some real damage to vehicles out there. And then Scout is also incredibly useful because it's the best class at extreme range, and there's a lot of extreme range in this game. It also has gay bullets, so it can do some damage to vehicles as well. The medic class can revive teammates but it's very hard to do right now and it's just not that well built into the game um, and considering that tickets aren't as 
big a deal now, it's hard to argue that it's an absolutely crucial class. It might be more useful on Rush when you really need to keep your momentum going. Also, using the smoke grenades on Rush could be considerably more usable on Conquest. It's arguable whether or not this is going to be a top tier class. Anyway, my weapon unlock recommendations are the M1907 for that close quarter to medium range combat, and then the M1916 if you want to focus a bit more on long range, you should be able to do pretty well with those two. As always guys, thanks for watching this video. I hope it helps you get started with the medic class. And as always, I'll see you next time. This is Level Cap, signing off.